G'day guys. So we've had blue skies like this all day. It's been pretty good really. I've just been inside eating dinner. Been inside for an hour or so. Maybe two hours. Didn't even hear any planes going over. And now this is what we've got. Massive chemtrails just spreading out. Huge thick one there. I mean, this looks like maybe 10 planes have gone past. I haven't heard a single plane while I've been inside. So they're pumping these out on the coast. And then you, they're using their ionospheric heaters to heat up the stratosphere, which stretches it out. And then basically as it stretches up, the lower atmospheres have to take its place and they can just drag stuff across the sky like this. And you can see the afternoon sun is fully blocked. We've had a good few days as well. Now we've just been hammered. Look, there's a big straight fresh one right there. One that's already spread out, one that's fresh as. Absolutely toxic feel. We had a top of 34 degrees today, so they let it hit the top and then they block out the afternoon sun as soon as we reach our temperature so they can tick it off and say, Yep, yeah, we hit 34 today. And this is what you get a whole heap of them. Perth, Western Australia, 7th of January 2019. We do not consent and we're going to start doing something about this too. Very soon we will have the numbers. People think it takes a mass awakening of the entire population or 80% of the population or 50% of the population. It takes fucking 3% of the population, maybe 5 Honestly, a few thousand persistent, persistent people just rocking up to where these politicians that pretend this isn't happening work. When they do their public speaks, we're there standing out front of their office. We'll be there. You better believe that pretty soon we're going to have enough people to at least start letter bombing, not bombing, but just hammering these people's letter boxes, hammering their email boxes, phoning them all day long. And we'll just make it to the point where they can't even do business because their phone lines are tied up, their email box has got 500 emails in it every day and we're standing out front of their door. That's how this is going to happen until they do something to stop it. Take it easy guys.